I'm Jamie King, faculty at Newmont University, here to talk with John Rowley about his capstone project. John, tell us about what you did last quarter. My capstone project is a strategy game playing intelligent agent. Uh, it learns how to play strategy games and uh, recognizes patterns in the gameplay. The entire project is coded up in C-sharp and uh, WPF. Um, apart from allowing the learning AI to play against itself constantly to get better and better, a human can also play against that learning AI or any other kind of AI I've implemented. So you made an AI that essentially plays board games, is that right? Oh yes, uh, it learns how to play them, it recognizes patterns, and it can apply those to become better and better each iteration. And how does it learn? Uh, it learns using a genetic algorithm. It affects, the genetic algorithm affects the weights inside of the neural network, which essentially allows it to make the best choice, well, makes better choices every time. So, the more games it plays, the better it gets. Uh, yeah. And uh, it can play against itself uh, hundreds of thousands of times, depending on how much time you have. Yeah. Very neat. And you did all this on your own? Did the research uh, on your own? Uh, yeah, um, I didn't use anyone else's implementation of the uh, algorithms. I basically searched them up, tried to understand the algorithms as best I could, and then implemented them into my game. And how much programming <laughs> did you know before you came to Newmont University? Uh, I just had a basic understanding of uh, programming. I didn't know too much about it, but I saw it was pretty cool, and that's what I wanted to do, so I came here. Okay. Well, why don't you go ahead and run your capstone project and explain to us what's going on as it runs. So what this uh, essentially does is set up um, all the uh, players and allows them to play against each other. The so AI each color represents a player? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, they and go your AI is powering every player right now. Oh uh, yes, it's currently all learning AI. No, it's uh, three learning AIs against uh, two random I AIs and a standard AI. Also, it's not all the same AI. Oh no, the reason, because uh, when it was against uh, three of its set, well, when it was all a learning AI, it became exceptionally good fighting against itself, but not against other players. And what do you mean by standard AI? Uh, just a normal state-based AI that you'd find in most games, that just follow uh, just certain rules and follow them out. And you coded up this AI along with your random, the random AI probably wasn't too hard to do, but oh, no. the standard AI. Obviously, it took a little time. Yeah, yeah, that took a decent amount of time, having to um, go through basically the game mechanics of this board game and make sure it's fine-tuned so it would um, play like play pretty decently. And so it's playing several rounds of Risk, learning each time as it goes along. Yep, uh, all, the um, all the weights between all the nodes in the neural network um, are base essentially weights. Um, and depending on what the weight value is, the higher the value it is, the uh, more the AI wants to make that move. So, the higher the value of the weight is, the more the AI will want to make that move. So it goes through every possible move and checks it against its own weights, and then chooses the highest value move and executes it. So, and after the round is after the round is done, the top AIs are then bred together. Their weights are averaged and then passed on to a new generation, and are mutated. So it's not exactly the same as the parents. So essentially each time it's a different AI playing, but it's a slightly different so it plays different. So basically it builds on top of itself and slowly approaches the best value. So how many games do you let it play until you feel like it's, it's learned about what it's going to learn? Uh, currently this AI has uh, over 10,000 games on it, but I have felt um, sometimes if uh, the games are played correctly, it can learn um, it can learn what the best values are within like uh, 3,000 to 5,000 rounds. Okay, so what is this data file that we're looking at? Your, uh, your the, program generates this data file, I presume? Uh, yes, these are the alpha values that um, are modified by the genetic algorithm. For this risk game, these last six values represent each of the continents in uh, the game. Uh, standard gameplay shows that Australia and South America are some of the best uh, continents to own, followed by North America, Africa, and then finally Europe and Asia. And this data, which um, all these values have been averaged, showing what the uh, average value is, it shows that um, it knows that South America and Australia are uh, two of the highest values and that Asia and Europe are very bad to hold. And does that go along with what's out there on the web, what people, what real risk players say? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, most risk players go after Australia or South America, 
and then the rest of them in that order because they're very good to defend for the amount of territories they hold compared to um, how hard it is to um, defend the borders. They are very high values. So the capstone course is essentially a course where you have to stand on your own and do something challenging mm -hmm. and hard. And obviously you learned a lot about artificial intelligence and coding yep. in that way. What else did you learn during the capstone course that will benefit you in your future career? Um, let's see. What did I learn? Um, I learned, even if it seems difficult, if you break it up into smaller chunks and accomplish each one of those chunks, you can pretty much get it done. Just don't over don't overextend and kind of like try to do the entire thing in one go. Just kind of work on small parts and assemble it. You're in enterprise projects. Now, uh, yes. And you graduate in three quarters. Oh uh, yes. Where do you want to go once you're done with New Iron? Um, I want to go to um, a company that does app well software applications such as like Microsoft or Google or. One of those big uh, software companies. One of the big ticket ones. Yeah. Shooting high. Awesome. Well, appreciate your time. Thank you for showing us your capstone project.